Oh, it was 500 plus days between my championship match and finally getting back on the pitch were definitely challenging. I think the journey was nothing that I really anticipated, it being my first injury. Um, you know, it was ebbs and flows, highs and lows, it kind of gave me everything. The mindset I had during my rehab process was kind of to take it one day at a time. You can often look so far ahead, like, oh, I have so much work to do, I have you know, I'm missing out on so much, but for me, it was kind of like, just take that next step, take that next day to just get a little bit better, a little bit stronger, make some strides. Um, and honestly, it's the team. Um, I love being a part of a team. I love this sport. And that's kind of the, the underlying fuel that got me going every single day. Yeah, the moment when I got to, you know, take off my penny, I'm walking up to the halfway line at CPKC Stadium, the first women's built stadium just for us. Um, was a long time coming for me. I just kind of like, the crowd erupted and I didn't expect that response, but it was so heartwarming, um, so amazing to hear. And I kind of just looked around the stadium and kind of just soaked that in as Lo was coming off to, to meet me there. And just, um, what a moment. My biggest takeaway through this journey and to get back here is probably just the mental toughness and resilient kind of mindset that you need to have to overcome an injury and kind of just seeing myself through the process and you know you take a step back and you realize all the little hurdles you had to overcome the time away from the pitch what we do on the daily is not easy um, to get your fitness back to get your strength back um, but really that mental side of the game I think has really been a part that I've been impressed by I think there's a lot of things that could have kept me off the field days life outside of sport that it could have knocked me down and I could have just gave up but I felt you know I'm, I'm, a, I'm a strong person um, and I, I'm proud of myself for getting back here especially at the tender age of 36 it's not an easy task and so I'm just I've learned the mental side of how tough I am a strong resilient person and and what it takes to get back to this level.